Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. We are back with another episode of Brazilian Bobby. I think this is episode number six or seven or five or something. One of these numbers, guys. But hope you guys are enjoying. And we are back with another episode where we are going to sit and play games after a long time. So before we actually get into this episode, make sure you guys go check out the channel. And if you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit that like button in any of the videos and leave a comment. I will definitely reply and make sure you guys subscribe as well to the channel. Now the first thing we have to do in today's episode is open the daily bundle and then go to our uh, limited exchange, daily limited exchange. Open that and if you get any upgrades in the, any position, we'll upgrade that position or else we have upgrades to do from playing matches with the players for, uh, like you know like even Rodrigo got an upgrade. I don't know how many of you guys realize that Rodrigo got an upgrade according to me and my brain cells left wing. Who is this? Pepe. We already have Pepe I think at left wing position. Somebody is there at left wing position guys. But <clears throat> we have one more interesting thing to do in today's episode. I thought I'll do it in the next episode, but we are going to do it in today's episode as well. Uh, I mean, today's episode itself, because we are going to be getting a new center midfielder. Like I said in previous episode, I sat and played the football center matches and I have enough coins to go and collect a center midfielder from team of the week. So we'll go and get our team of the week player in just a moment, but we'll see what um yeah that is done okay cool let us go 95 to 103 limited exchange make sure you guys go do your limited exchange as well if you haven't done already because you can get somebody insane from team of the season limited exchange was the best thing for me french laughing ah sentiment it's gonna be some yeah you know what for the last few days limited exchange has not been something interesting uh but now let us go get our new player football center we need to upgrade we need to upgrade our center midfielder and uh, you know what he is our club legend so i am really really happy that we finally get valverde back valverde is a club legend guys i don't know how many of you guys have been watching since fifa mobile that i used to upload back in the day Valverde UTG, oh, I mean uh, RTG, insane it used to be. So we got Valverde back, 98 rated centimeter, team of the week player. So we are going to add him to the team as well. So we have how many, <laughs> how many Real Madrid players? We have Rodrigo, we have Hendrix himself, and then we got Jude Bellingham. Now we get Valverde. This is nice, this is nice. Who do we remove? I think first we'll do this. Where is he? First we'll bring in Valverde. And then what we have to do is we have to check who is he better than. I feel like he'll be better than like 94, 91, 84. So yeah, we'll play him at we will play him at right center mid and send uh Kone there because he is he is him he is him guys now i don't know how many of you guys like valvade like i do but i absolutely love the guy and even for valvade we are going to do the same thing what we are going to do with uh, jude bellingham if and rodrigo if valvade gets two goal involvements that is either a goal or an assist two times we will upgrade him as well now we need to go play games and then hopefully upgrade uh, all these players we need to upgrade Todibo if he gets uh, one clean sheet we need to upgrade Bellingham and Rodrigo if they get one goal involvement and if we can upgrade uh, Enric if he gets one goal so we have so many upgrades to do will we do all these upgrades along with Valverde's upgrade we'll see our first opponent is going to be dangerous 97 95 94 the worst thing is i might lose to him <laughs> this is the worst part i might lose to him uh, what team is he having please be very dead 98 this is my team looks nice but uh, i don't know how good you need to get a new left back guys that is one thing and he was uh, in, uh, i wanted to tell you guys we need to get a new left back so we might go and hunt for a left back in the next few episodes hey rodrigo 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 
Ah, oh, that was pa that was a bad pass. Bellingham gave a pass. Will we be able to get a goal with uh, Hendrix? That is the only thing now. Hendrix is pacey, but he has very bad physical, guys. Hendrix physical is very very bad. Goal with Rodrigo. Let us go. We can upgrade Rodrigo. You guys saw Rodrigo was 99 for me. He was initially 98. We upgraded him once to 99. Now he's at 100 because he got an upgrade. I don't know how he got an upgrade, but uh, he has got an upgrade, guys. So now we can send him to 101 because he already had uh, one assist in the previous episode. And now, no, not one assist. He had a goal in the previous episode. In the same episode, we scored with uh, Bellingham as well. So if Bellingham gets a goal or an assist now, we can upgrade Bellingham. And if Hendrik gets a goal, we can upgrade Hendrik. So I need to go hunt for Mascheranos. Oh, we get a goal with Pepe. I mean, we're not gonna upgrade anything. <laughs> we get anything with Pepe. It actually was an assist from Bellingham. No, not assist. He got the ball. Yeah, nothing, nothing. It's just a goal with Pepe, guys. No assist from anybody. Uh, it just came off the opponent. So far, looking like a wow. If we get a goal with Bellingham, sorted. We can upgrade Bellingham. Let us go. <laughs> we can upgrade Bellingham. Uh, Enric <laughs> doesn't look like Enric will get an upgrade. We are going to upgrade Bellingham, Rodrigo and Todibo because of a clean sheet and goal with these two people. This is insane. I'm going to use three Mascheranos in one episode. How is this even possible? Look at that. Enric's had no stamina guys in the end. Enric is always low on stamina. I need to do something about this physical for Enric. I need to upgrade him. He's still at 95. But uh, we can only do it if we are able to, you know, progress. Okay, before we head in, go into the next game, let us just upgrade these boys. Rodrigo and Bellingham and Todibo as well. Now, is it is you should you guys be upgrading any of the players that I am upgrading? I mean, if you guys have anybody above 101 or 102, probably upgrade them and send them to higher level. Otherwise, don't upgrade and waste your uh, thing. This is purely for content, purely for your enjoyment. And my satisfaction, I'm upgrading them, guys. Only that is the only uh, thing I can say, only reasonable thing I can tell you guys. Now we have upgraded him. We will do the training, we just are we'll just rank up them and then we'll do training later. Let us go. Bellingham is at 104. Bellingham is absolutely insane, guys. I love Bellingham. And he's absolutely insane. We're gonna increase shooting and then dribbling with him and then max out shooting. Next who it is Todibo. Todibo. You guys might be wondering why I'm upgrading Todibo and in future if we get a better right, uh, center back we'll change. But first we have to change Pacho. Pacho is 96. We need to increase somebody. I mean we need to change him if we get somebody. So in case we get like a Lucio or somebody crazy. Pacho is the first person who is going out and we need a new left back as well we have done three upgrades let us i'll do the training and then we'll go into the next game todibo has 120 defending and 100 pairs after that upgrade that is insane i'll just show you guys what is going to happen with the, these two people also because i am very very curious and wanted to wanting to see how these cards look after just one upgrade 103 pairs, 117 shooting, 117 dribbling, 111 passing. Oh my god, these guys are going to be insane, especially this. Especially, especially Rodrigo. Is there anybody that I don't want whom I can check searching from? Probably this Bellingham. But that Bellingham will be your. Uh, you know what i'm just going to use my players all these silver silver boys and gold boys are going to go rain look at that guys 123 pairs 121 dribbling 107 shooting 102 passing what is that stats what are those stats insane 
we just need to upgrade endrick we need one goal with endrick i think in the next like next game we'll only focus on getting goal with endrick if we get one more clean sheet we can upgrade trent also because this was the first game for trent and if we get another clean sheet you can upgrade trent we will increase we will change the rules once we i am short on uh, master runners because i have master runners now so i am keeping these rules once we once we you know go on a short on master runners we'll change the master runner thing you guys okay second game upon us 97 95 95 yes good attacking but we are better in midfield and defense we need to see his team but how is his team is it better than mine probably yes cr7 look at that midfield what is that five what is that formation i don't understand people who use formation like that are you one of whoever is watching are you guys one of those people who use a lot of center backs a lot of uh midfielders for no reason like what is the point of that not going to help the team hendrix nice goal nice goal we can upgrade hendrix guys finally finally we can upgrade him valverde We get a goal with Valverde. One more goal or assist with Valverde. We'll upgrade Valverde also. Oh my God! If I hope they score a goal, I can't keep a clean sheet. I don't know if I have enough match or not. Guys, I'll be honest. I am going out of ideas. Oh my God! This is looking like a oh, thank God. Thank God, goal was good. Ooh. Rodrigo is on a roll guys Rodrigo is on a roll Rodrigo and Bellingham are doing crazy stuff at center back and uh, I mean Cam and right wing these guys are insane I am enjoying myself playing the team like this you guys go watch first episode we started off with nothing but Hendrix with only Hendrix we started and then we got Rodrigo everybody can get Rodrigo for free so we got Rodrigo we got Hendrix and then we started our journey with those two players and we we did a madness we did a madness looking at the squad right now how much how much grinding has gone through and what you guys can do just by playing a few games and how how you can build a team is is really nice but the one thing that i don't like in this game right now is after the second anniversary update they have you know totally they have totally spoiled the enjoyment when it comes to playing against cpu guys playing against ai is very boring in this game right now because i i have to play 101 times in that football center just to get 50 points that is i mean it makes sense but also it is not very enjoyable but it is what it is some people have their view this is my view hope you guys enjoyed this episode we are done for today's episode we need to go upgrade endrix and we need to go upgrade trent after this we will have only enough master anos to upgrade um, who is this we uh, valverde after that i am changing the rules no more of these rules we need to change we need to uh, increase the number of goals and goal involvements and clean sheet in order to you know do upgrades because this is not feasible this is not feasible uh, but yeah now let us go upgrade trent and then we'll see what we can do from there guys because uh, for today we have had a really good episode i feel like i ho i hope you guys enjoy we have exactly one more match run for upgrading valverde and then we will change the rules we will change the rules i think we should we should shift players only if we get um, new players we can swap them out i think that is the best thing to do and we'll upgrade players uh, whom we can get or high rated players with a different rule from that will be said in next episode because i have no clue what the rules will be now what we have to do is what should i do passing or defending trent is a really good player so do i increase passing this makes marking dribbling and crossing high this makes long pass short pass vision high this makes defending stats high so do i just go with balanced i think we'll go with balanced as of now in case we need to change later we will change but as of now trent has been successfully upgraded and we need to train him do i have enough players 
yeah only three three gold players is enough to train him no 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 not three gold players i need so many players to train him ah you know what it is okay anyway i don't do anything useful with these guys so it's just better to train them now 109 pace 109 passing 109 dribbling 107 defending pretty decent card i'm not gonna lie for a free card it is a pretty decent card left back situation we will sort out in a future episode as of now we need to upgrade Enric as well oh my god guys what is happening i think for uh, valverde we don't have any mascheranos i will do something about that but as of now <laughs> it is not looking good bro it is not looking good in today's episode what and all has happened in today's episode what and all has happened this is insane this is insane okay we have increased his pace now we need to upgrade him as well train him as well so many of my players are getting used up but it is okay 115 pace 100 shooting 180 dribbling 85 85 physical this physical needs to be sorted out so we'll do the something about that but as of now, this is how the team is looking. We upgraded Rodrigo, Bellingham, we brought in Valverde, our club legend Valverde. So we're going we're gonna be you know doing some crazy things with Valverde. So he's going to be there in the team permanently. And yeah, I think Jude Bellingham is also permanent. And Enric is permanent, but maybe not this card. We might get Prodigy. Who knows? I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care, stay safe, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay motivated and keep smiling guys. Bye-bye.